Nepal is a small country. Uh, it is situated in between China in the north and India in the south. It's a small country, but with so much diversity. Diversity in a sense that we have so much um, different cultures. We have so many different types of languages and so many traditions and also the weather varies from one place to another. Uh, but it is known for, especially for two things. Uh, one is Mount Everest is in Nepal and many people come to Nepal to see the mountain, to climb the mountain. Eight out of 14 mountains are located in Nepal. Uh, but also Nepal is known for the country where Gautam Buddha was born. So many Buddhists from around the world, they come to have a pilgrimage in Nepal. Uh, in the history, Nepal has never been colonized. Um, but despite that, we have lots of problems in many ways. Uh, Nepal is rich for many resources. Nepal is also the second largest when it comes to water resources next to Brazil. Uh, but we have lots of water problems in the city, but also in the villages. Um, but despite that, by God's grace, many things are going well. Uh, questions are growing day by day. Many people are coming to the Lord by His grace. Uh, so people are coming to Christ, but there's a lack of discipleship, there's lack of mentoring, uh, there's also lack of training. More than 90% of the pastors in Nepal don't have even basic training. So by God's grace, uh, we are in Nepal planting the churches, uh, especially among the people in the city, reaching our young generation. Uh, but also we have a media ministry. This is the way how we penetrate people in the houses, because normally those people in the city, they don't entertain newcomers in their house. Uh, but they watch religious programs in the television. But also those uh, sermons have been uploaded in YouTube. So people who are living around the world in more than 40 to 50 different countries, uh, they watch our program regularly uh, through YouTube and we praise God for the opportunity. Uh, we also have a training in Nepal. Uh, we call it Himalayan Graduate School of Theology. We offer classes every other month for two weeks. So we offer about six modules a year. Uh, we have a professors very well qualified from all over the world, mostly from those who have been graduating from, graduated from Dallas Theological Seminary, uh, but who have exposure to working in Asian context, so who knows Asian context very well, at the same time they know the Bible very well. Uh, so we are grateful for the professors who have invested their life coming to Nepal and train our pastors in our country. Um, so we are so grateful today uh, for the partnership of Brazilian churches, but also personally I'm so grateful for Todos Hos Provos Te Lovun. <laughs> I'm so grateful to Todos Hos Provos Te Lovun. Uh, with this partnership I'm here today and I'm so grateful that people think so much alike here. Uh, in a sense that they are so mission-minded. They are willing to sacrifice their life and their comfort, leave their comfort zone to do whatever God requires for them to do. And I have been so much blessed by hearing those sermons, also the testimonies of those missionaries and the pastors, how they have devoted their life, reaching out to people in different parts of the world. And I'm hopeful and at the same time I'm grateful that I'm here. I'm hopeful for the fact that God is going to do great things to the people, Christians from Brazil. And I would look forward to the partnership with Toros Hos Proboste Luvem uh, through this. Uh, I'm hopeful that we will extend our partnership with many churches in Brazil here. And uh, there are much more things to be done in Nepal. There are so many people without Christ Jesus dying every day. Many young people are desperate without future. They are hopeless about, about the situation in the country. Many people are leaving the country for the sake of earning money in other countries. Uh, but we believe the biggest solution to our country is the gospel of Jesus Christ. As Jesus said, you shall know the truth and truth shall set you free. People are in the bondage of untruthfulness and they need the gospel of truth in our country. That will set our country free. And for that, we need a people and we, are, we, we need a churches like the Brazilian churches who can come and help and partner together with us. Thank you so much. God bless you.